Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n and then the name and population of n cities and then the program must print the total population of n cities and also the name and population of n cities that is each city separated by a colon as the output so first we are going to accept integer n and the name and population of n cities and then print the total population of n cities and also the name and the population of each city separated by colon now we'll take our first test case so in this test case we have name and the population of three cities so this is city and this is the population so first thing we have to do is to print the total population of n cities to find the total population we're just going to add the population of each cities so 19,000 plus 81,000 plus 21,000 gives you 1,21,000 so this is the total population and then we have to print the name and population of each city separated by colon so this will be separated by colon and similarly we'll have for other two so this will be the output for this test case now we'll take the other one so here we have the per name and population of six cities now we have to get the total population so 25000 plus 64250 plus 4999 plus 33750 plus 9200 plus 13600 gives you 195799 so this is the total population and now we are going to print the name and the population separated by colon so yes this will be the output for this test case now what we are going to do is we have to just fill the lines of code in python so that the program runs successfully now let's see how to solve this program so this is the main method so here we are getting the input for integer n and then an empty list of cities and we are iterating over and getting the name and population and then we are appending the instance of the class ct to the empty list cities and then we are going to print the total population that is city dot something we have to fill it and then for city in cities we are going to print each cities and the population separated by colon so here we have the class city here we have the total population variable equal to zero and we have the initialization function where we have the name and population being assigned and then 
we have to fill these blanks so that the program runs successfully. So here we have the total population and here for this function str of self we have to return the name and the population of each cities separated by colon so we'll do that first so self dot name and a colon and then plus str of self dot population so this will give us the city name and the population separated by colon and here we use str because population is in integer so we are converting to string and then now we'll move to the other blank so here we have to fill this now in this initialization here we have the total population variable with two underscores before them which reminds that it's a mangled name so in order to access that variable the format is city and then the total population so in order to access this double underscore variable the format is underscore class name underscore underscore the variable so here we are going to increment it with population so whenever the name and population is initialized the total population variable is incremented with the population to get the current population and in the print area we are going to print that variable so similarly in order to use that double underscore variable we have to follow the same format that is underscore the city that is a class name and double underscore the variable so yes we are done and this will give us the correct output